With all the villains of Spider-Man No Way Home being the Sinister Six, many people have come to the same conclusion and they think they have figured out what will happen to each villain in the movie. We could see Green Goblin being taken from his timeline moments before he's about to die and then maybe that means in Spider-Man No Way Home he will potentially die or be killed off because he was meant to die the way he died in the Sam Raimi movie. Doc Ock will probably die because he will more than likely be restored into his timeline where he realizes what he has done and has his little heroic moment. Lizard, we know in Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, he is locked up. So will he just be put back into lockup? That's potentially that could happen. Electro is really a hard one because he's basically pure energy. So he could still be alive, you know, and just be another version of himself from that uh, timeline potentially I'm not really sure to be honest because it's really hard to figure out about pure energy how that can be changed or can it be changed or is he still the same person with the same thoughts and mindset and everything like that from the amazing spider-man movie never know and Dan Man, I'm not really sure about, but he didn't die in the Sam Raimi movies, so he could potentially still be alive in the whole movie of Spider-Man No Way Home. People are saying the events these characters have gone through in the previous movies, they could have or will be the same events that will happen to them. But I do think that these villains could potentially be from different universes because having the same characters from previous movies would probably be a bad decision in my personal opinion. And that's just lazy if you ask me. We know Electro will be yellow and not blue like we saw in the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and we kind of see new uh, Doc Ock tentacles so we could be seeing that. We know that Green Goblin will not be the same person potentially that he will have his new suit or his suit that actually has the hood on it attached to it so you know potentially we could see some new versions or see how these people die. Please check out my Twitch, which I live stream to weekly, link in the description below. Follow my TikTok, which I upload to daily, linked also in the description below as well. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button.